Uh, how did today go? Um, really good. Really good workout. Um, great group of guys, great staff. Came in, worked hard, uh, played a lot of three on three. It's just fun to be out here. What's it like being in a in a workout when you know your dad's likeness is right in the hallway and you know he's kind of got a legacy here? Yeah, I mean it's awesome just coming in. You know, you see his pictures hanging up all over the practice gym, and it's just a blessing to be able to play the game uh, that I love and that he loved, and kind of come to a spot where he made a name for himself. It's just been it's just been great. The Warriors is a phenomenal organization. Uh, my dad loves it here. The fans here are the best. Great culture. So uh, really fortunate to be able to, to come out here and play the game. Did you find it a little difficult to not be nervous considering the circumstances and how close this franchise is to your family? I'm uh, not necessarily nervous, more just excited. Uh, you know, my family has obviously a lot of ties to the Warriors organization. So to be able to come out here and just try out for this team and kind of show them what I can do has been, it's been a great experience. What was your dad's advice uh, before this workout? Um, the same advice he always gives me, just give it your best effort in everything you do. Um, that way you can always live with results, win or lose, as long as you know you gave it 100%. Have you thought about maybe if you extrapolate out, if you should someday be playing for this team? I know what, I think three of your four brothers had uh -huh. at least some time here. With yeah, the I think two or three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, have you thought about what that would potentially be like? Um, I mean, it would be a dream come true just to be able to play in the NBA, especially at Golden State. Um, I think I would fit in really well here. Just. With the culture and my, and my style of basketball, uh, I think it would be a perfect fit. And obviously, to be able to play where my dad and brothers play would just be an added bonus and uh, kind of bring back the underhand free throw to Golden State. It's been 40-something years, but it'd be it'd be fun to have the underhand free throw back in the Bay Area. I read the Sports Illustrated article about you. So, what was that like as a kid? I mean, there's a lot of people in the NBA that don't shoot free throws very well that probably could do better if they did that, but but they they don't want to do it because they don't like how it looks. What what gave you the confidence to? Um, for me, I'm kind of a science and math guy, so you know, logic would dictate if you had one of the best free throw shooters of all time as, uh, as a personal free throw coach, you should at least give it a chance. And when I decided to make the switch, I just really like the form. Um, there's less pivot points and uh, hinge joints, so it's a more repeatable motion. And uh, obviously, my percentage uh, speaks for itself. The last couple years, I've been in the high 80s, and um, it definitely works. So it's a great shot, and kind of shocked some more people haven't tried it, especially if they're in the low 50s or 60s. But, it works really well. When exactly did you make the switch? Uh, junior year in high school, I made the switch, and I was about 75% for two or three years, and then finally the muscle memory just clicked in, and now it just feels automatic. I think I shot 86% and then 89% last year. We know the climate in college basketball. You take a little bit of heat when you, not number one, having a famous dad, and then number two, you, you took some heat in college, didn't you? Um, definitely. You know, that's, that's part of the fun of the game, and as my dad always says, if you're making them, they can't say anything. Um, uh, when, how many teams have you worked out for now? Uh, this is five, the fifth one. Okay. So it's been a, a really good process and just a blessing to be able to come out and uh, show off my skills and show kind of what my game's all about. I look forward to this next step. Obviously, you were an engineering guy. Uh, do you do you have any hopes or goals outside of basketball that you'd like to accomplish when your career's done? Um, yeah, I mean, first and foremost, I just want to play basketball for as long as possible. Um, basketball is my passion, and if someone's willing to pay you to play the game that you love, I think you got to explore that option. So whenever the game's done, I'll probably head back to Florida and finish up my masters and then uh, go from there. And that was the thing that was brought out again in that Sports Illustrated article, that basketball isn't the only thing in your life. So, but I guess you recognize that if you're gonna pursue it, this is the time in your life that you have to do. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, that being said though, I think it's so important for kids to, to get a good education, have something to fall back on. Um, you never know how long the ball bounces. And, crazier thing to happen where it's season-ending, career-ending injuries. So just to have a great nuclear engineering background to kind of fall back on, it's not a good, it's not a bad backup plan. But uh, I'm really excited to just try to pursue my basketball career for as long as possible. I know your, your dad moved around for your basketball career to follow you. What did that mean to you to have him in Charleston, have him in uh, Florida and everything? Yeah, I mean, it's been great just to be able to see, see him after games, get that advice, just have family time. Um, I've just been blessed that he's been uh, so instrumental in my basketball development. And just for him to be able to see me play college basketball was a joy. Obviously, you've been shooting your free throw the way you do since junior year in high school, but do you find still yet, for as many years as you've been doing it, there's still a sense of shock when you unveil it in a setting in front of other people? Um, definitely. You know, whenever you go into a gym for the first time, after my first free throw, everyone kind of turns around and goes, what was that? What did he just do? Um, and then, you know, they're all eyes on me or on, on for that second one. But, 
you know, once people get used to it, my teammates don't even think anything of it anymore. Obviously, the first time you shoot it, they're all messing around, trying to throw it up there, practice it themselves. But uh, by the end of the season, it's just, just another free throw for them. Is there a moment like that today? Um, yeah, you know, I shot a couple out there before getting warmed up, and everyone's kind of looking around like, what is he doing, what is he doing? But, you know, it's, it's fun. It's, it's all, in, all in good fun. Do you have any uh, plans for draft night? Do you know what you're going to do? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just be with my family uh, back in Colorado Springs. and. Hopefully, if I don't get drafted, make a summer league team, and then try to make a training camp and just go from there. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you very much. Good luck to you.